Welcome back, everyone. If you've seen the Fiat commercials with Jennifer Lopez, you know these popular European cars are gaining ground here in the U.S. Our autofocus expert, Ben Italis, has the goods on these and more cute, energy-efficient automobiles. This week on Autofocus, we're at the 2012 Motor Trend International New Car Show, and we're talking small cars. Once upon a time, a small car meant a cheap economy car, but not anymore. Many are discovering what Europeans have known for years, that while these compacts are practical, they can also be sporty, attractive, and even luxurious. Offered in sedan or five-door hatch, the all-new 2012 Ford Focus has moved upscale. Its superb fit and finish and sleek interior appointments are matched by handsome bodywork. You and your passengers can stay connected and entertained with the sync system and 355-watt stereo. Also new this year, a fully electric Focus. So is it a plug-in electric kind of thing? You can charge it? It is. It'll give, it'll give folks um, a 100 mile range in about three to four hours with a 240 volt charger. Perfect for the commuter because the average commuter commutes, what, maybe 60 miles a day. Right. Always a perennial favorite, the Honda Civic Si is one of the original modern sport compact cars. Its high revving engine and performance tuned suspension make for an enjoyable drive to work or on the track. And if imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, then Honda should be gushing. A pretty convincing Civic Si knockoff, the Kia Forte Coupe is actually more than a pretty face. Choose the SX model and get some go for very little dough via 173 horsepower four-cylinder engine. Is it me or is this Mazda smiling? You'd be smiling too if you're behind the wheel of a Mazda Speed 3. This humble little hatchback can humiliate purebred sports cars while hauling home a week's worth of groceries. With 263 turbocharged horses at the ready, you'll be uttering zoom zoom while the officer writes your speeding ticket. Toyota's Lexus brand has transformed the Prius so you can be environmentally conscious and look good doing it. Dressing it up with an aero package, 17 inch wheels, stiffer suspension, and a premium leather interior. The end result is the CT200H F Sport. Only 900 examples will be built. Oh, and it comes with matching F Sport Tumi Tote and backpack. Ooh la la. From across the pond, two new takes on classic European icons. First, the VW Beetle gets more than a makeover for 2012. The all new Bug now has a brawnier look. It's lower and wider than before, and with the turbo 2 liter engine, it's faster too. The color matched steel wheels and dash insert make for a nice throwback touch. But sorry hippies, the dashboard mounted flower vase is gone. If the new Beetle isn't cute enough for you, let me introduce you to the Fiat 500 and 500C convertible. So it kind of looks like a 1950s toaster. It's pretty cool. Two-tone leather seats, automatic transmission, big drop top, and all that for 25.6. Audiophiles should opt for the premium six-speaker Bose sound system, and extroverts will love the numerous available paint schemes. The perfect car for those who wish to be seen and heard. And the Fiat 500 is a perfect example that a small car can be a fun car with lots of features. From the International New Car Show, I'm Ben Italis with Autofocus. Ben, it looks like you had one heck of a fun day. Always. When I'm around cool cars, I always have a good time. You love your cars. I do. Used to be a time when you got a compact car. It wasn't too sexy. No. It really wasn't sporty. No, but it, it was, was great always, on gas. Yeah, sure. It was the car you had to have. But now they're the car you want to have. Well, I want to have the Fiat behind you, you because like this? that is super cute. Yeah, this is the Gucci edition Fiat 500. Where have you been all my life? Where has <laughs> Fiat been for the past 20 well, some years? They stopped. Fiat stopped importing cars in, into the United States. 27 years ago, but they're back. Fiat and Chrysler, Fiat owns Chrysler now, mm -hmm. so now they have a network in which to bring these great little Fiat 500s, which have been real popular in Europe, so they're back in the States now. The, the old one uh, looks sort of similar, but yeah, this one's yeah. a lot sexier. It, I mean, look sure, at that. Sure. That kind of looks like a lot, actually. <laughs> and it only had two cylinders, so it really wasn't <laughs> 
quite prepared for our American highway system, but but they're neat little cars. And then this is the A bar. This is the top of the line turbo model. Ooh. And, you know, this one I would drive. And you say, well, if you were buying one, you wouldn't get the automatic. You'd no, need no, no, to have no, no, no. You, you, you got to get the stick shift. I mean, the automatic really slows it down. It only has 101 horsepower. Uh huh. But then again, it doesn't weigh very much either. Right. So it's pretty peppy little car. This is Gucci. They've got different uh, categories of Fiat. Oh yeah. Well, the Fiat 500 has three trim levels, including okay. the A bar. There's the Pop, the Sport, and the Lounge. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, Ben, I'd like to take that home, if All you don't right. mind. You know what? You can have them both. How Thanks, about that? Ben. We're wearing like, like roller skates. I love it. All right. You can, you can travel, too. Your head will be popping yeah, out the top. Yeah, I'll look like a giraffe. Uh, big thank you to Ben, of course, and a special thanks to Dayton Andrews Fiat Clearwater for letting us borrow these beautiful cars here. Fiatofclearwater.com is the name of their website. And let's drive it on over to Lindsay now to see what she's up to. Lindsay?